name's Rebecca from PTC, and today I'm going to be talking about if-else statements. To find the statements, you go to the Math tab on the top left. You'll find the group operators and symbols, and you'll see programming. Here, you'll have everything you need. Let's define our variable object and type colon equals. We will then select the double line from the programming dropdown to insert a new program structure and choose the if operator. Here, we'll define our constraints. F is greater than or equal to 200 newtons. Be sure to select return from the programming dropdown menu to define what you want your return values to be set as. In this case, we'll set it as fail. Next, we select else from the dropdown and set a return value for anything else. Here, we'll set it as pass. Notice how we included units within the statement, which is necessary to work properly. Example two will include an also if operator. We will define our variable as h, and again, type colon equals. We'll select the double line and the if from the programming dropdown. Here we'll define our constraints and our return values. In this case, we will not select the return operator because that would halt the program once the first condition is met. Next, we'll select also if and create another condition. We'll define our return value for this condition and then complete the statement by using else, just like before. Now, when we call our variable h, we'll get a value of 2. This means that even though the first condition was met, it still ran through the second. For the last example, we're going to be plotting a function versus time. We'll define our function as thrust of t. And like before, we'll create a new program structure by clicking the double lines in if. We'll then define our constraints. This time, we're going to be setting our return value to a number rather than text. For this case, we do not need to use the quotation marks when defining it. We'll then go to else if and define a second constraint. Again, we'll select the return operator and set it to a value of 80. We'll then finish the statement by selecting else and creating a return value of 0 for anything else. As you can see, here's a beautiful plot. Thank you so much for watching, and look out for more of our MathCAD videos.